Hello, it's Brent Share Lover Jelena, and today is Monday, which means it's Macro Monday, and I can't think of a better way to start out your week than being more efficient and effective on your computer, and the best way to do that is use our latest macro. What kind of macro are we dropping this morning? Let me show you. All right, this is the macro we're dropping this morning. This is an Outlook macro. Send same email to different recipients. To BCC or not to BCC? That is the question that comes to mind when emailing a variety of different recipients. This is especially important if you're working with multiple clients. You could BCC recipients so they can't reply all. Recipients won't see who's emailed, but that's actually a problem because the value is knowing internally who needs to be followed up with. You could CC recipients, but that also presents a problem because someone could simply click reply all and the email thread could get out of control which is a bigger problem across multiple parties where people don't need to be privy to every single question being asked. Each of these options presents a problem so you could send separate emails which would create more value for the customer. So this is why we went ahead and created this new Outlook macro that will send the same email to different sets of recipients. What this macro will do is it'll take the open active email draft and then simply mirror it for each set of recipients you've listed in the VBA code. It'll copy the email subject, the email body, and even pull in the existing email attachments. If you've yet to see this macro in action, check out our see it in action video here. And as I continue to work down, here is the code for this macro. And before we dive into the code, I do want to point out this section. You need to do three things to get started using VBA. You have to activate the developer tab, update your macro security, and set up references for leverage and lean macros. And let me show you how easy and quickly you can do this. Let me navigate to Outlook, head up to the customized quick access toolbar, head down two more commands, and then within this Outlook options pop-up, click customize ribbon. And then over in the main tab section, if you just scroll down, you can check mark the developer tab and click OK. You'll now see the developer tab is enabled. You can click the developer tab, head over to macro security. Within macro security, you'll see all macros are disabled without a notification. You can go ahead and enable all of them, even though this is not recommended because potentially dangerous code could run. We walk through all of the code in these videos, so there's no surprises and you're not blindly running code, which is where you could run into some problems. You can go ahead and click OK. And let's navigate into Visual Basic. In Visual Basic, go ahead and head over to Tools, select References, and these are the only two references that you need to have selected. They should be selected by default. Go ahead and click OK. All right, within Module 1, let's paste this new VBA code heading back over to LeverageLean.com. You can double click in between the code lines and the physical code itself to select all of this code and then control C and paste into Visual Basic module one. All right, let me walk you through what this code is all doing. The first thing that's going to happen is we're going to look for the active email that is currently open in Outlook. And then we're going to copy the email subject and the email body. And then in this segment of code, we're going to loop through all of the existing recipients that you've created in different sets. And that's where this macro really provides its value. You wanna create an email per client. And this is where you can identify that with different variations of recipients, whether they're CC'd or just sent in the to field. So let me show you what it looks like with these fields populated. And you can see here, here's the different variations of recipients you can set up. And if you ever need to add an additional set of recipients, you can simply just copy this again add an additional email counter number, so from five to six, and then add in that different variation of recipients. So this macro will use the email counter to identify what recipients that were on, and then it's going to generate the email pulling in those recipients and CC recipients into the new emails to and CC fields here. And it's also going to pull in any existing attachments on that email draft. It's actually going to run this macro copy attachments. And I actually made a little call out. I found this in one of my Outlook programming books. And I actually have a link on this macro page to quickly jump to this book on Amazon. All right, so once the attachments are copied in from that email draft, 
the email will display, and then you'll have the opportunity to send it. So let me show you what this macro looks like in action. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new email. I'm gonna populate the email subject, the email body, and then add in some attachments. And there you go, we're almost ready to run this macro. And I do wanna point out, you don't need to populate the to and CC fields. We're simply doing that based on the set of recipients that you've indicated in the VBA code itself. What I like to do with my macros is create a custom button to run them. Now let me show you how easy it is to do this. With an open email, navigate up to customize quick access toolbar, head down two more commands, click customize ribbon, and then what we're doing is in between the clipboard group and the basic text group, we're gonna create a new custom group by selecting new group, and then you can either name the gr new group or just blank out the name like what I like to do. And then with that new custom group selected, you can drop down popular commands, head over to macros, and then select the send same email, different recipients macro that we just pasted in. Then I like to clean up the name by removing some text and adding some spaces. Much nicer. And then the only other thing you get to do is select an icon to help you remember what this macro is for. I like to select these layered boxes here. And I click OK. So you'll now see in this open email a new button to run this macro. And once you're ready, you can go ahead and click this button. And again, what this macro is doing is it's generating an email per set of recipients that you have indicated in the VBA code. It's simply mirroring everything in this drafted email so you can have those different email threads per client. And there you go. Once this macro has successfully run, you'll see all of these emails generated available for you to then simply click send and kick out these emails to your individual clients. You will see the original email that we ran this macro from, which is why I recommend not interacting with the two and CC fields. We're just simply gonna populate them from the VBA code. All right, let me navigate down to this macro page. At the bottom, I have this customized section between code lines 24 and 38. This is where you're indicating the recipients and CC recipients. Again, if you need to add in more sets of recipients, just copy a segment of that code, increase the email counter from five to six, six to seven, to start to indicate how many emails you want this macro to generate. And then in code line 55, you can actually set this up to automatically send the emails being generated. Now this is totally up to you. I like to sometimes display the emails. Maybe I need to add something client specific into the emails, or you can just automatically send them right there just by updating code line 55 and no longer making this a comment. Well, that's all I have for this new Outlook macro. Send same email to different recipients. I absolutely want to know what you think of this one. Leave some comments below. Could this macro be better? Are there any improvements you see? I absolutely want to know. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome. Thank you so much for taking time to view this video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to start using the macro, I've seen the video of a link in the description. If you could do me another big favor, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay updated on any new videos that I'm posting. Like us, follow us on all of our other social media channels. And as always, stay awesome.